Hello. <clears throat> Hope everyone is doing well with these, uh, a whole bunch of stuff going on. Um, solar flares, um, the, uh, lunar eclipse, uh, blood moon, um, ascension, <laughs> ascension symptoms, um, you know, I don't know about you, but I feel like, uh, this, uh, eclipse <clears throat> has, I don't know, like, it's just some low vibe energy. I don't know. And I've been feeling some of it. I've been having to fight some of it back myself. And it just seems like they're coming after us hard. Especially us light workers that are trying to stay anchored in the light and in, you know, a positive vibe and living from the heart. Um, my allergies are kind of bothering me right now, so if I'm sniffling, that's why. Um, you know, you hear these little thoughts in your head going... Um, you don't have a social life. Nobody wants to spend time with you. Blah, blah, blah. You know, or you're single for a reason. Blah, blah, blah. You know, don't, those kind of voices, you need to tell them, <laughs> you need to tell those voices to take a hike because though those don't align with you anymore. That that does not align with me. Remove yourself. I've been having to deal with some negative thoughts for the past couple of days. And, like, where is this coming from? Like, I haven't had thoughts like that in quite a while. And so I'm kind of like, what on earth is going on? Um... So I think a part of it has to do with um, the state of consciousness that a lot of people on this planet are in and also this lunar eclipse. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I don't watch TV, really. I don't watch the news. Um, I rarely have my TV on. If I do, it's because I want to watch um, something that I enjoy. That makes me feel good, you know. Other than that, I don't really have the TV on. <clears throat> um, so I do keep up with some news because I get notices on my phone from a news app. But other than that, you know, I don't really um, pay a whole lot of attention. I just want to, I just need to know, you know, certain key things. I don't need to know everything. Besides, Facebook seems to be pretty much in the loop. <laughs> You'll find out on Facebook what's going on soon enough. And I, it's not like I'm on Facebook all day. I'll check it maybe a couple times a day. Um, so, like... I just got out of my bus a little bit ago just to go stand by a tree and ground myself because I needed to get rid of some of this low energy that's uh, clear myself and ground myself. And it felt really good. Um, I definitely need to spend more time earthing. Um, I know I need to start doing that more, putting my bare feet in the grass and the ground. <clears throat> Watch out for ticks, though. <laughs> Here in Wisconsin, we got to be careful of ticks. <sighs> um, you know, when we are in this phase of, like, transition and waiting, I feel like I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm waiting for something. Like, I just feel like, okay, 
I'm waiting. Like, I know we have to do the work, yes. And I, we are doing the work. We are doing the work. But at the same time, I feel like we're waiting for something. Like, it just feels like this. What, you know, this waiting, like, when, when are certain things going to happen? It's like almost intuitively, we know something's right around the corner. And um, it's like that building up to a certain moment kind of feeling. <clears throat> so, I don't know if you all are feeling that too. Um... think what else I want to talk about um hmm. there's some amazing stuff happening communities people of communities are coming together putting together um, great ideas <coughs> for the future um, some a couple of people that I met in Sedona at the Cosmic Awakening Conference. I am having a Zoom chat with tonight and we're going to catch up and we're going to talk about um, there's, so, there's a couple of projects that we want to work on and um, that we want to help each other with which I think is just awesome. Even though you know um, we're spread, we are not all in one place. The internet has provided us um, some amazing tools to reach out um, to one another. Um, so I'm excited for that Zoom call. We're supposed to have it tonight, I think. So definitely some great stuff is happening. <clears throat> and, you know, if you feel like you need to connect with others more that understand you that are in the same space as you and you don't have that in your 3d reality <coughs> the internet is a, is a great place to go there are many groups um, that will help you um, plug in and get connected to others who may, you may align with more Let's say you have a certain dream or vision or a mission that you've been given and you're like, hey, you know what? I can't do this alone. I need some help. Ask Spirit to guide you and, um, and to, to ask Spirit to guide you to the people that will be able to help you. And um, if you take a step forward and start working Thank on your you. mission. John, Ignore that. <laughs> um, you know, the universe will answer. Is two away from the the universe will answer you. And um, it's amazing how once we start <clears throat> aligning with our highest past, how everything will just come to you. <clears throat> um, I've been given a lot of answers in the last couple of weeks. Um, it's just like, oh, you need a solution? Here it is. Oh, you're thinking about that? And you might, you're thinking about doing that? Here, here, let me show you this way to help you out. That's exactly what happens. Pay attention to the signs. You need to listen to your higher self. You need to listen to that guidance that says, go this way. That says, hey, read this. Hey, watch this video. Hey, Go to this store, you might find something that will help you. Even if you're thinking, oh, I may not have the money or, you know, 
do it. Even if you can't purchase this, it may give you an idea somewhere in the future, near future, be like, oh yeah, remember that thing I saw in the store? I can make that. Why can't I make that myself? I can do it myself. You know, <clears throat> like I have some jewelry that I've made that I would like to start. I'd like to start selling jewelry. And I got a lot of compliments when I went to Sedona. And they're like, oh my gosh, you have to sell these. So I will be doing that. <clears throat> I'm so anxious. That's not a huge part of my mission, but it's something I could do on the side. A huge part of my mission is um, I have access to the Akashic Records. I was granted full access. So if there's anything you need to know <laughs> about a past life, history, a moment of history, the truth about, you know, a certain event, come to me and I can tell you. I can tap into that and I can show you what you need to know um, or tell you. Um, so that's a huge part of my mission. And I'm putting together my website and an Etsy account so that people can buy from the Etsy store for <clears throat> to have readings and this other package deal that I'm working on. It's going to be a package deal of about a, a, a reading, but also um, some other things to kind of, let's say somebody's just awakening, okay, and they're just, they just waking up, okay, and they want to know about their past lives. Why do they want to know about their past lives? Because they're trying to remember who they are. And part of remembering who you are is remembering your divinity, your eternal self, to know that you are eternal. Your this one life is not the end. You know, you are an eternal being that reincarnates into different worlds and different avatars for different experiences and learning for source. That's what you are. <clears throat> and some of us are very, very ancient, millions. Our souls are millions of years old. Um, so I can help you figure out who you are. Um, and then some of that might trigger an awakening because some of that is karma that you need to clear. Be like, oh my gosh, I really am um, an eternal being. I have experienced this before. This person in my life was also with me in that life. And that's why I, I, that's why I react to them in the way that I do. Because I'm being triggered or because we have healing to do. It's really important to understand this. But also, learning our past lives is not the reason why we are here. The reason why we are here is so that we can raise the frequency of this planet. To remember who you are is to step into your divinity and your power to help raise the consciousness of this planet. <clears throat> because we need to get out of 3D and 4D. We need to get to 5D and above. And, um, but a part of that process is remembering who you are and why you're here and stepping into that, that role. <clears throat> so I really want to help people um, that way. I also want to help with healing. Um, I uh, recently discovered that I am a reggae healer. I had no idea but I am able to do it. I was able to do a long distance reggae healing um, last week on someone that was in a lot of pain and their pain was released and it hasn't come back. And I'm absolutely amazed. Like I had no idea. <laughs> um, so I definitely want to dive more into reggae healing um, because I know I can help people and make them feel better and release their pain because you know what we are not meant to live in pain 
We are not. That was not our divine plan here. <clears throat> we were not made. We were not meant to suffer. We were not made to be in pain. We were not made to struggle. We were not. That was not our plan when we came here. We came here to learn. Yes. and grow in a third dimensional world well started out earth started out in 5d by the way it was not always in third dimension but then some other groups had other plans for this planet anyways i'm gonna let you go and uh, please reach out to me if you have any questions if you want any help with um anything or remembering past lives um, I'm going to start charging people. Um, I don't have a set price yet. <coughs> but um, I'm going to restart pretty soon. Um, my website and my my stuff is going gonna, is gonna to launch once school is out. And I have more time to focus on my store and putting my website together. Um, I can't wait to get out of this 3D job. So cannot wait. All right. I love you all and I hope you all have a beautiful day. Peace.